10 black dots. This is going to be fun. Let's learn to count. Come on. What can you do with 10 black dots? Let's find out. One dot can make a sun or a moon when the day is done. Sun, moon in the sky. Two dots can make the eyes of a fox. There's a fox. Or the eyes of keys that open locks. Those are keys. One, two. Three dots can make a snow person's face. Or beads for stringing on a lace. Four dots can make seeds from which flowers grow, or the knobs on a radio. On a radio, you can listen to music. On a radio, yeah. Five dots can make buttons on a coat. One, two, three, four, five buttons on a red coat or the portholes on a boat. There's a boat. That's a boat in the water. Six dots can make marbles that you hold. Half are new, the rest are old. Seven dots can make the spots on a snake. There's a long snake. Sss, says the snake. Or stones turned up by a golden rake. That's a rake. Eight dots can make the wheels of a train. Woo-hoo! Chug, 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 chug. Almost sounds like the boat, doesn't it? Carrying freight through sun and rain. Nine dots can make toy soldiers standing in rank. Or the pennies in your piggy bank. Ten dots can make balloons stuck in a tree. Shake the branch and set them free. Count them. Are there really ten? Now we can begin again, counting dots from one to ten. Ready? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That was good. I like counting dots, the black dots.